Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and we're going to talk about the Oregon cap and trade again. Right now there is currently news out of the Oregon State Senate that uh, Senate leader, uh, the president of the Senate and the Senate majority leader are bickering about whether or not the cap and trade bill will be heard on the Senate floor. I'm hoping for Oregonians that the bill is pocketed because the whole concept of the cap and trade system is that the state puts a cap on the carbon the state can emit. Now, every single person breathing emits carbon. Just just sitting there doing nothing, you emit carbon. You do. Because carbon is a natural byproduct of respiration. It is a natural byproduct of carbon-based life forms. All living beings, even plants, emit carbon. Now, plants also recycle carbon into oxygen. They take the carbon out, use it to create sugar, release the oxygen from it. But these cap and trade taxes are specifically designed to target businesses. And they're designed to squeeze businesses and force them to use products and methods and spend billions of dollars doing upgrade after upgrade after upgrade and regulation after regulation in order to succumb to government complete control while still being privately owned. Basically, it is a fascistic scheme to take control of corporate production while still leaving it physically in the hands of private ownership. And it's happening in California right now. In fact, California has been losing jobs steadily because of the cap and trade system. And Oregon is going to implement it for themselves through a bunch of carpet bagging Democrats that are being supported by California based businesses and organizations, including many of these green energy companies pushing to push all solar panel power in the Pacific Northwest where we get rain 60% of the year. This is foolishness. People are trying to cut their nose to spite their face. And this is on top of an already increased 5% taxation on all of your medical care expenses and a brand new gas tax increase that has come across the state to fund our roads because our organizations have been spending too much money on bike lanes and not enough money on fixing the roads. When will the insanity end? Oregonians cannot afford another thousand to two thousand dollars a year out of their wallets in taxation and that's the estimated amount it is likely to be closer to three thousand dollars when you include the differential in prices on food and all other types of production not to mention it could drive cattle ranchers out of business as they are unable to get carbon credits to grow beef as well as force the dairy farms out of business as they are no longer able to get carbon credits to produce milk. Think about it, people. It's time that we stopped allowing this to continue to go forward. So I would like everyone to contact their representatives and please tell them we don't want the California style cap and trade. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube or thumbs up and subscribe on Speak Out. Also, don't forget you can catch me at the other social media sites down below. If you'd like some detailed information from the other side, I do have a link to the Ben Bulletin as well as a couple other news articles down below about this particular set. They do try to make it seem far better that we implement a carbon tax, even though they don't use any real science behind it. They're mostly trying to get people to feel better about saving the environment. So think about that when you go to talk to your representative about this. Because can you really afford anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 out of your pocket again per year? Can you? Thank you and have a good day.